Good evening everyone, Western Media here. Tonight we're going to talk about democracy. Democracy. Pretty little customized concept that is changing according to your skin color, country or beliefs. Where burning a holy book is freedom of speech, but protesting against a genocide and an occupation makes you a very dangerous person. We do this because it works. Some of you resist our ideas, that's why you're extremely dangerous to our democracy. Some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias, to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Majority of you are very easy to manipulate. Remember when we trapped you in the house telling you that it's a big pandemic and after that we said sorry because it was not constitutional? Or when we needled you with vaccines making you believe that Big Pharma wants to lose clients by curing you? Remember that? It was Iraq, Afghanistan, and now we are making you believe that Israel is a victim. We're giving you very poorly done AI proofs and you're believing them. It's not about occupation, or genocide, or the Suez Canal, but governments will burn countries to the ground just to rule over the ashes, and you still believe you're free. You are not free. We gave you little screens so you cannot see the cage, or the chains. And for those of you who see it, remember, you're extremely dangerous to our democracy. You are so easily manipulated, and we love that. Remember, before, when we didn't have internet, we used to think that a lot of stupidity is because of the lack of information. What is your excuse now? But don't worry, we gave you King Kardashian who mocks dead Palestinian kids and wants you to believe it was a mistake. <laughs> that woman doesn't fart without a PR campaign. That woman who was pimped by her own mother with her intimacy video. That woman who supported Balenciaga and all the ped of you know, we as reporters, we can go on the ground and cry that we're being bombed and make you believe that 40 kids were decapitated. And you believe it. Of course you do. You always believe everything. What? Stings, right? Don't worry. If you're a woman, we're gonna give you OnlyFans and you can sell your body for the price of a kebab there and you can feel very empowered and if you're a man you can run from the feminist or you can identify as a lampshade like this you can have bright ideas my little puppets don't be sad western media is gonna feed you double standard democracy until you're gonna forget that you are in an episode of black mirror so don't blame a clown for acting like a clown ask yourself why are you still coming to the circus?